Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 380. Today we have the SP Authentic Mixer. So we've got two boxes of 2122 Series 2, uh, two boxes of 2122 Ice, a box of 2122 Allure, a box of 2122 SP Game Use, and finishing off with that box of 2122 SP Authentic. So a uh, pretty fun little mixer. It filled pretty quickly as well, so good to see. But all right, three times on the names, three times on the teams. Who you line up with is who you get. Good luck, everyone. Um, yeah, really not much else to say. Here we go. Grab the list of names. Head on over to our good buddy, random.org. Once, twice. I just need to make this full screen. There we go. Three times. James on top. Alexander on the bottom. All right, teams three times. Here we go. Once, twice, third time, Ottawa on top, Islanders on the bottom. Here are your teams. James with the Senators, Eric with the Sabres, Anthony with the Oilers and Lightning, Kevin Ostash with the Panthers, Christopher Bodoni with the Blues and Vegas Golden Knights, Brandon with the Canucks, Emil with the Stars, Scott with the Leafs, John with the Hurricanes, Jason with the Habs. That's a pretty solid team to have. Jerome got Columbus, Anthony with the Sharks, Jordan with the Predators, Alex, you've got the uh, Wild Coyotes and Kraken. So a bit of a wide wide degree of teams there kevin with the red wings it's kevin um kevin jongs uh alexander with the jets kurt with the rangers brandon with the bruins john with the penguins marshall with the flyers james with the devils bill with the flame bill why do you keep getting the flames james with the uh chicago blackhawks emil with the kings emil with the ducks dennis with the capitals raymond with the abs and alexander with the islanders so there are your teams i'll get them into the team viewer I swear the person in our breaks that's gotten flames the most has been the Oilers fan, which is some cruel, cruel irony by random.org there. All right. Make sure this looks good. Edmonton, Tampa Bay. St. Louis, Vegas, Las Vegas, Minnesota, Arizona, Seattle, Islanders, Seattle, Minnesota, Arizona, and then Winnipeg. Yep. All right. Looks good. Again, as per usual, if there are any discrepancies between the team viewer graphic that's about to show on stream in a second here and the original random results, we always go by the original random results. So um, it's just sometimes the formula could mess up in Excel for some reason, but that hasn't happened in like two years. So uh, that should be good. There we go. All right. I think for... um simplicity's sake today we're probably going to break in this screen view just because that way people can understand what break it is and because we've just got the two so but given that we've got the other one filled right after it let's get right into the first break so here we go good luck everyone uh everything by the way from opg platinum and the series two series two break should be getting shipped out shortly uh, i got dropped off yesterday it just took it took an extra day, well, a couple extra days, just because of how long it took. Um, Platinum took a long time to sort, and I'll kind of talk through the Platinum sorting process here, because it was actually pretty... I did things a little bit differently in there. Um, for example, like times where there's individually saved cards that are grouped together. I'm doing a 180 on the block number here, by the way. They're like... So, for example, some of the like higher end base rookies, like your Caulfield and stuff. Um, I tried to sleeve up a few of them like individually and then put them 
in a bigger like you know 130 or 180 point depending on how many there were just to kind of like condense it a little bit because otherwise the packages just would have been massive and they're valuable but they're not like that valuable and some of them weren't fitting into standard uh top loaders so it's kind of a good compromise but any I'm pretty sure I did it so any numbered rookie got its own sleeve and top loader. Uh, any numbered vet that was a decently low number got its own sleeve and top loader. I think I did 99 or less on those ones. And then any like vet that's numbered um, got its own sleeve but might be in a combined top loader. Uh, it's essentially it's it should be fine. Um, It works pretty, pretty slick. So here we go. Box one. Good luck, everyone. Hopefully we can continue. I don't know. Series two is kind of weak. So when we did it. All right. You know what? We are going to switch back to this view. All right. For Heggy for the Panthers. Reinhardt for the Panthers. Panthers off to that hot start. So, nope, this is Sample Ranta on the Young Guns for the Colorado Avalanche. And again, reminder, last week will be our final week of breaks. Grew for the Ducks. Not quite sure what there will be. Um, would like to try do credentials, but it is inventory week, so grew for the Ducks. Uh, Kopitar for the Kings. So might not be able to do that, but we'll, we'll see. Hendrick Slap here on the Young Guns. Nice one there. Decent chance he becomes, you know, top six NHL forward, at least a middle six guy. There's upside there too. Demko for the Canucks. But yeah, would like to do credentials, but that's just contingent on a few things. Um, Third cut of Carlo for the Bruins. If not, we'll do similar mixers to this week. Keller for the Yotes. Denisenko for the Panthers. But uh, we'll probably be one, maybe one break. And if it fills quickly, we might post a second one. But Tomasino for the Predators. Oh, that's a short print. Sorry. Uh, just because the after that, I can no longer do breaks because I will be in Sweden for three weeks. So. We'll have a bit of a three week break uh, when we get back. I got some stuff to kind of upgrade the setup a little bit. So what we're going to have, we're going to have a, um, a like top down camera angle as well on top of the usual on top of this view. So um, maybe between breaks or something like that, or if we're kind of uh, I'll have it as a secondary feed too, just because it, it'll capture everything on my desk. Um, and that way, if you know um, how I like to sort through the top cards when we're doing them, just to end on the top hit, uh, there was one person like a long time ago that's just like, oh, like you took a card out and it's like the card in the thing was a Gretzky Lemieux dual auto. And it's like, no, like, why would I ever do that? I have zero incentive to, and also that'd just be bad. And Aaron for the Rangers. Yeah, long story short, lots of upgrades coming. Mikaia for the Leafs. Uh, and it should just help the overall stream presentation. So pop in for the Blue Jackets. We only oh, got Denisenko. So I want to do some upgrades. I want to rehaul like overhaul all of our like um stream graphics a little bit, make them a little bit more modern. Cross it off for the Yotes. So looking forward to it. Groove for the ducks. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Latang for the Penguins. All right, should have our double hit pack coming up here shortly. Uh, Ferrance for the Predators. Lapierre for the Capitals on the blue. Uh, Radish for the Bolts. Mason McTavish on the Young Gun Canvas. Nice one there for the Ducks. Big McTavish guy. All right, I might have missed. Might have missed it then. Crossfit off for the Yotes. 
Unless we just didn't get a two hit pack here, but uh, Lecision for Vegas on the young guns. We got all of our young guns. One, two, three, four, five. We're missing one. Three, four, five. That would line up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen plus six is twenty-two, twenty-three. So that would line up. All right. Well, that's kind of. I'll have to go back and watch the recording and count everything, but we'll go through all the base cards, making sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. The only thing I could have missed is like a base image variation, but there was an issue in 2122 where you were short packs. And so what we'll do is we'll toss in a couple of overtime packs if that's the case. Looking for a base card that looks different, but I don't see any so far. And the pack that would be would be missing would be the pack that has the extra hit and the young gun. Just based off how the boxes work, so that's not great. All right, well, it's not in there. It's not going to be in the first half because we our pacing was fine. We had a card every um. We had to hit every eight cards. So. There's no day with the cups hiding in there. We'll just go from the back too, because that can also be. Fine, just to make sure there's no young guns. I guess it's going to be hard to find the base variations if you're looking at the back of the card, but I just I legitimately just don't think we got the good pack. Which is kind of sucks. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, the best way to count this would just be counting the base two, but that's one, two, three, four. Nine forty. I'll just get into a nice stack. Forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty. Wow, that was exactly a grab of fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty. If I'm just counting the base backwards because if we're short, then we'd be short, short. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 50. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So 65 plus, um, that's 165 plus, I need to write this down on the spreadsheet. 165, we had 16 there, six there, and one there. That leaves us 188, what's 24 and goals. One ninety two. Is this actually sixteen? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And then six and one. That's one ninety two. 
I don't know what happened. Maybe we had extra base packs? Or extra base? Or my count's off a little bit. But we're definitely short cards, so um, as per usual, overtime packs, we'll do two. <laughs> ah, that's frustrating. We'll do 2019-20 wave 3 and a 2020-21 wave 2. We'll random these off at the end of the break. Top two people each get one. And we move on to the next box because that's frustrating. This box serial number is weird and 7-2 on this box number. Well... I'll go back and watch. I'll count the packs this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're good. Now just make it up to us with like an insane card here. That is really annoying. Because, like, I know that's a good pack. Like, that's a pack that you want to open up out of every box. And you can tell, too, because, like, it's a, we're missing a young gun and we didn't get anything, like, special out of that box. And the clear cut doesn't count. It A clear cut used to count as something special, but not anymore. Times have changed. Hopefully, this box is good. I mean, we have all packs. Our count should have been eight. So, eight off of that should have been two, six. It should, we should have four less base cards somehow. I wonder if, like, somehow some packs got extra base cards in them and then it, like, set off the weight or something. That would make some sense, but... Denisenko for the Panthers. Anyway, sorry about the break there. Shinnikov for Columbus. Uh, Richards for the Rangers, and there we go. Uh, Duhame on the MVP, so... Not the best one, but... I always love the colors and contours, so I'm not going to complain too much. Flurry. Chikrin for the Yotes. Tomasino on the retro for the Predators. We did pull a blank back last week. The guy I know who's a Radish collector did, already has one though. Eklund for the Sharks. Nice one there. So, unique for the Yotes. Merzlikens. For Columbus, Veal for the Sharks, Checklist Young Guns, the least favorite one to get, but hey, Vegmelka for the Yotes. So it's also good to know that the uh, blank back was in a pack that had, um, it was in that bonus pack, that bonus slot. I really do miss when Series 2 is multiple hits per pack with like the OPG and MVP updates. 2011, like 2010, 11, 2011, and 12 were honestly like probably some of the best times to be opening up hockey cards. Because whether you were a fan of Panini or not, they did crank out some pretty cool designs. And I think it pushed both of the brands to kind of elevate their game. This is thicker than normal, but it, probably the same. Um, and we had like a lot of really solid products come out around that time. I I am a big like my favorite product of all time is 2010-11 Panini Dominion, and it's just it's probably I would say the best is like 
for my aesthetics, it's one of my favorite designs, especially the base and the like base rookie patch autos are just they're just beautiful. The patch windows are gorgeous, lots of room for an auto, fairly limited too. They they felt really special. Tomasino, there we go. Nice little Tomasino. And all young guns get sleeved and top loaded. Tomasino for the Predators. Riley for the Leafs. French variation middle set. For the Sabres. Bernard Docker. Lashinsky for the Flyers. Because this is a Neighbors for the Blues. Lucas Raymond for the Red Wings. Ooh, oh, short print Easter egg jersey card. Kirby Doc on the retro threads for Chicago. Ah, well, that makes some sense. Because this box has two of those short print packs. <laughs> So we have this and then we had a Gatchevich Young Guns. So it looks like the packs just somehow got put in here. O'Reilly for the Bruins on the retired canvas. Colin Miller for the Sabres. And a Dazzlers of Giordano for the Kraken. How many Young Guns did we get there? I think we got our full six. One, two, three, four, five. And then Tomasino is six, right? Yep. <laughs> Got our full six and we got two bonus cards. So at least we got our bonus pack back, but still missing that one young gun. Let me get the base cards for the way here. There we go. All right. I think we're doing ice. Alert. Ice. SP game used. SP authentic. Feels like a fun rip order. Yeah, hopefully everyone's having a good day. Hopefully everyone has a good weekend. Looking forward to it. Hopefully we get a patch auto, because like... Ice has been lacking for us. I mean, we did hit the Gretzky auto, but overall it's been... Like, this entire Master Case has been... Our second best hit is either like the Jarvis Ice Premier's rookie out of 249 or the Pod Colson exquisite rookie auto out of um, 99. So uh, we'll ship all the bonus stuff because it's just easier. Ooh, out of 99, Ice Premier's rookie. Roman off for the Habs. 98 of 99. There we go. Montreal getting on the board with the out of 99 Ice Premier's of Romanoff. Is he the best one to get? No. Is he the worst one to get? No. Just kind of there. Nice. That's what you're what you're looking for. There have been some rather insane boxes with out of 99 rookies too. And a lurking orange. So hopefully we can keep that trend up. We got an orange ice crystals coming up here. Uh Pashnak for the Bruins on the Green Katuri on the ice crystals for the uh, flyers here. We'll put those up there. Uh, for the Dallas Stars, Ryan Suter on the ice crystals orange to 99. And a Seth Jarvis rookie for the Hurricanes on the back. And second card number to 99 or less. We'll take that. All right. We will take that. Uh, Ehlers, Ukupakalukin on the purple rookie. And then Zegris on the base rookie for the Ducks. Zach Jones for the Rangers on the green. Josh Anderson on the ice crystals for the Habs. And Ross Colton for the Lightning. This is super thick. 
probably yeah decoy and probably a time capsule not jersey card all right well we'll just go front to back stamp coast to fully on the green ukupaka looking in for the sabers on the jersey and byfield for the kings Brian Rust for the Penguins. Prosvedov for the Yotes, who's $7.99, and Knight for the Panthers. Turcott for the Kings. New hook on the Sub Zero rookie for the Avs. Radish for the Bolts. Oh, we have we have a thick card. It could just be a base exquisite, but it could be a patch auto. We're hoping for the patch auto. Schmaltz for the Yolks, Kubelik for Chicago, and Cider for the Red Wings. Uh, time capsules, I'm guessing. Or not time caps capsules, but lap here for the Capitals. Uh, Jack Campbell on the Frozen in Time for the Leafs. And Prosperol for the Yolks. If you're unfamiliar with the Frozen in Times, who had the Leafs? Scott, uh, you can again open up the back. Check to see if you, you get a mini ice premieres inside. So... It's kind of like, do you risk it for a good mini ice premieres, or do you just uh, do you just keep the card and like you either sell it sealed or you open it up? Essentially, is what it boils down to. Stone for Vegas, Turcotte on the orange for the Kings, and Holtz for the Devils. Yeah, I tweaked my wrist overnight somehow just through sleeping. It's kind of weird. Sore. It hurts to open up packs. Flurry for Vegas. Veal for the Sharks to $7.99 on the green. And Kapari for the Kings. We should have our, we have our base ice rookie as well because we haven't had a base one yet. Uh, Seth Jarvis for the Hurricanes. Allison on the Ice Crystals. And Cylinder for the Blue Jackets. So, because normally you get one base one, but maybe not. Uh, Olsen for the Sabres, and just an exquisite rookie. Still nice, though. Eklund for the Sharks, two two ninety nine. dollars Samuelson for the Sabres. Hmm. Kind of weird that we didn't get a base ice premieres. Uh, I said we're going to do Alert next. By the way, again, if anyone needs decoys, let me know. Uh, James, I'll try and throw some in with yours if you're in chat. That should be good enough. All right, color. Let's see a Golden Treasures. Yeah, I woke up this morning and tried. I think it's a third pack in as the auto. So we'll put that one on top. Normally third pack from the back. I could be wrong. Yeah, I went to open up my cat's pate this morning and it was, um... It hurt. We got a purple blue to 199, I think, coming up here. Black Rainbow of Everly for the Kraken and Jeremy Swayman on the Blurple, the blue purple on the Lure Rainbow to 199. I love this set. And Swayman on the base rookie. This is one of my favorite sets. So 168 of 199, just because the full rainbow looks so good. Yeah, I love those cards. They look so the finish on them is so nice they've done it like upper deck's done a lot better job at getting their foiling to like the standard of other companies stamkos on the red rainbow Campbell or sorry ottinger on the bread baskets and bernard docker for the senators on the rookie Uh, Joey Keane on the Black Rainbow Rookie for the Hurricanes. Iso of Jack Hughes and Samuelson for the Sabres. Just 
two, three, four. Mantha on the black rainbow for the capitals. Um, Valeno on the control room for the red wings. Lysinski for the flyers. And ooh, pink leopard of Heiskanen. Not numbered, but super short print. Hey, Python, it's going. Nice pink leopard of. Uh, uh, you know what? We're gonna. It's a little bit thicker. Let's be a little bit safe. How's it going yourself? Yeah, all the breaks are sold out, which is awesome. Having a really good like I mean we have a good start with the Romanov, but one of our boxes of series two is missing the uh two hit pack, but then the other box had two two hit packs, so Lundquist for the Rangers. Bernard Docker on the yellow green. Uh we'll put that there. And unique for the oats. So now all the breaks are sold out, so uh, do, 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 do. The corners on some of these other cards are a little bit rougher. Mitch Marner on the red orange. Uh, Caprizov for the wild on the quartz. Allison for the flyers. All right. I think we saved our hit pack for the last pack. An orange slice in here. Uh, oh, we got a. Sorry, I'm just trying to unstick the cards. We got a actually pretty big pull coming up here. Orange slice of Crosby. I mean, that's nice in and of itself. Oh, no, I got the wrong abs rookie, but green quartz rookie to 99. Sorry, green rainbow, not green quartz of Sampo Ranta. I thought it was new hook. New hook would have been so much bigger there, but that's a die cut. It should fit. Yep. There we go. Nice parallel box. Ferrance for the Predators. A pink leopard, a green quartz. Now let's see a good auto. Oh, it might be a rainbow auto. If we have an auto. Or oh, it could be a red rainbow auto. Rainbow of orange green of Sveshnikov and Maxime Comtois for the Ducks on the red rainbow autograph. Could do worse. Could do worse. It's got a decent autograph and character to it. Those are definitely 55 points. There we go. And a Hendrix Lapierre. So that is Allure. I'd say pretty good box of Allure. Um, two short prints in the green quartz and the pink leopard. And then it. Like I'd say an above average autograph. And then the Swayman is nice as well, the purple, the blurple. But yeah, it's going to be. I'm not quite sure what next week's breaks are going to look like, but we'll figure it out. Um, I know we have we have three boxes of Allure left. I think we have two boxes of FP game use left. We have some boxes. I think we have three boxes of ice left. So it might be just featuring some of those again in a mixer. Uh, probably keep the price point similar. Not one of those foam things. 886. Something like that. Yeah. All right. See if we can go two for two on the ice rookies. I doubt it, but all right, let's go to the back this time. DiPietro on the orange for the Canucks. Kinnan, Kout, and Hurdle, and Steve Lawrence for the Hurricanes to $12.99. All right, we want a patch auto here. That is what we want. Greco for the Blues, Tomasino for the Predators, and Ranta for the Avs with a Turcotte for the Kings. O'Reilly, Kachuk, and Lapierre. Blues, Senators, and Capitals. Uh, 
Keylon, Backstrom, and Jarvis. Two capitals in a hurricane. Ooh, this is super thick. Jersey card. Jersey card incoming. Marchand for the Bruins. Oscar Steen. Also for the Bruins. With a Zegers for the Ducks. We're in the good base rookie section, at least. It's good to see. Uh, Bear Boulet bolts to 9.99 on the Sub Zero rookies, and Spencer Knight. Wait. Okay, the new hook was numbered to 9.99. I just missed it. This is either an exquisite or a patch auto or an autograph. We'll hold out. We'll hold out hope. Ranted in. Chuck on the pink and radish. The bolts actually, you know what? Those are kind of. They're not rare enough to be individually sleeved and top loaded, but they do look pretty. Got another one of those capsules. Neighbors. Tyler Bertuzzi on the frozen in time, not numbered. And Samuelson. The numbered ones are based off of what happened with chronology. Um, typically, the numbered ones are where you find the numbered. Um, the numbered parallels for the most part. So not always the case, but for the most part, that's where you found the cool stuff in chronology. Bailey for the Islanders, Nurse for the Oilers, Cider for the Red Wings. Nice big pack, but you think just decoys. Sam Reinhart with a Mike Hardman. Hey, I used him in Pakdoku today to 9.99 for Chicago. Rosvidal for the Yotes. Patch ready for Vegas. Eklund is $7.99 for the Sharks and Colton for the Bolts. Drysdale on the green with the Mangiapani for the Flames and a Holtz for the Devils. All right. Let's see what's hiding in here. Well, it's going to be Swayman, 100%. Chikrin for the Oats, and just a base exquisite rookie to $2.99. But still nice byfield for the Kings. So, not the best boxes of... Uh, okay, no, the first box is actually really good. You got a nice premieres out of 99. Can't complain. Second box, eh. It's okay. Not great. Gets you, gets you through it, but... Yeah, it is what it is. All right, Spigoo time. Box 17. We rolled for all of the boxes before the breaks happened. It was live on Twitch, but before any actual recording. So just because I think me rolling a dice for 10 minutes isn't the most entertaining content out there. There we go. Feels thick. Feels thick. And it is thick. I think we'll go... I don't know. It just might be misleading. Baron? For the Rangers to 999. Oh, Eklund on the true rookie to 72 for the Sharks. That's a nice hit there. Oh, that's a nice card as well. Wow. Uh, so for those who remember back in the. Uh, a while ago. Uh, we hit a very good embroidered history of a certain penguin named Sidney Crosby with an autograph, but a Jake and Bake autograph on the embroidered in history. Those are, I like these, they're cheesy, but they're cool. 25. Cool looking card. More importantly, it gets us a better looking card than the Kirby Doc on the stand. No offense to the Kirby Doc, but that looks good. Really good box SP game use, by the way. Getting a true rookie and then also getting a like decent autograph is nice. Uh, Steve Shutt on the jersey card. That's not bad. Ryan O'Reilly 
Oh, that's for the Habs, by the way. And then Ryan O'Reilly on the authentic fabrics for the Blues. And then eight, Zach Jones for the Rangers on the embroidered draft picks. Nice. That's a really solid box of SP game used. Really good patch, like fake patch auto, but good autograph and a good true rookie. You can't complain. That was a really good case of SP game use then. Because, like, I didn't think we'd have anything come. Like, I didn't think we'd have that Crosby coming. But sometimes the cases do just be quite loaded. All right. Here we go. SP game use or SP authentic time. Four, five, six. Oh, well, here's our first auto right out of the gate. Andrew Kopp on the sign of the times for the Winnipeg Jets. Kopp, sign of the times for the Jets. There we go. With a uh, Pinto pageantry and Denisenko. Top rookies behind it. I think. Ah. I think the next rookie or next pack has an auto, right? If it normally works the same as it used to. Probably for the penguins on the limited red. You'll see on the pageantry lap here on the top rookies blue. Oh, that pack hurt. That last pack hurt. Uh, this is an autograph. Let's go through it. Sean Dursey on the Retro Future Watch for the LA Kings with uh, Pacioretty and a cane. Die cut and pageantry. Nice. Like, Dursey's not bad, but now he's in Arizona. He is a right type of defenseman to get. It's just he's a defenseman. Bernard Docker on the limited future watch, Messier and Cylinder. Pageantry and top rookies. Drew Bauer for the Kraken with an Ovechkin Spectrum FX and a Spurgeon for the Wild on the True Leaders. Maybe, maybe we'll get a bonus auto, but there shouldn't be an auto left here. Drew for the Ducks on the red future watch, Cam York and Oranta. Flyers and Avs. Lots of sample ranta today. Hurdle for the Sharks. Nice. Tommy Novak. The 70, 72 of 999 on the base future watch. Marner for the Leafs on the die cut. Uh, good one. He's actually got two base future watches on the checklist, so it's the only problem. I believe one was supposed to be Fabian Zetterland. Hardman with a coal cylinder on the tier two spectrum effects. Here down for the tracking. The, all the bounties are done for SP Authentic, but still rare to get the tier twos. Murs Lickens, Sam Reinhardt, and Nico Dawes. Last pack of the break. Pretty solid. We'll do a quick little recap and then we'll get into the next break. Tarasov for the Blue Jackets, Kalanuk for Chicago, and Boone Jenner for the Blue Jackets. All right, that's 380. But overall, for, you know, what it was, pretty solid, I would say. Some good, some bad, some meh. Let's take a little bit of a recap. So we got, oh, we got, oh, we do have a random two. Uh, two Frozen in Times, Campbell and Bertuzzi. Uh, so those will be fun to open up if you want to open up some. Uh, Novak, base future watch, Dursey on a future watch auto, retro to 499. Uh, Cop on the sign of the times for the Jets, Doc on the Easter egg rookie threads. Comptoir for the Ducks on the Rookie Auto, Samparenta on the Green Rainbow Quartz for the Avalanche 99, Pink Leopard of Heiskanen for Malur, Swayman Blurtball Rainbow to 199, Ice Crystals 
Orange of 99 of Suitor for the Wild. Tomasino Young Guns, Duham MVP to 250, McTavish Young Gun Canvas for the Ducks. Top three hits, we'll go with the Eklund, true rookie out of SP Game Use to 72 for the Sharks. Uh, next up is a Jake and Bake Manufactured Patch Auto to 25 for the Penguins. Really cool looking card. Just, I know it's a manufactured patch, but it still looks cool. And it's pretty hard to beat an ice rookie out of 99 as the hit of the break. So Romanov, there you go. All right, random time, three times. And then the top two people will get, the first person will get the, we'll go with the wave three for the first person and then the wave two for the second person. This is just because we were missing a young gun in one of the boxes. Get rid of my chicken scratch math there. All right, here we go. Three times, top two people. Once, twice, third time. Wow, Anthony, double dipping, getting both of them. Congrats. Well, that makes marking them easy. Makes marking them real easy. All right, that is group break 380, 381's up next.